Hello and welcome to Nadia's Modern Imaginings. Today I have got a fabulous commission project. I am painting some shoes for the first time. This is going to be a really fun challenge and the theme, you've seen the title of the video, is going to be Taylor Swift. I am so looking forward to this, so let's get going. So I have a couple of supplies here, <laughs> quite a lot of supplies for um, prepping the shoes, making them so the paint will go on. I've done a lot of research on this and they are going to look fabulous, I know. So stick around and see the final results. It is such a glorious sunny day. Uh, just a perfect day to be filming this. Um, I have these colours that I've chosen as the palette based on some reference pictures, which I've got here and also a little list of all the elements that my client wants in the shoe design. As you see here, we have some supplies. The main problem with doing shoes is that they really need to be prepped properly. So I have here a bottle of acetone, um, which is going to be used to take the factory finish off the shoes before I start painting. That just means that the Posca acrylic paint is going to adhere better. I also have, this is my colour scheme, I also have some wet wipes for tidying up uh, spills and bits. I have cotton wool for applying the acetone. I also have sandpaper here. Um, so after I have um, acetoned the shoes, then I'm going to give them a very light sanding just to, again, make sure the paint adheres. I also have some masking tape, which is going to mask off the areas I'm not going to be painting. And finally, some matte acrylic finisher. This is, again, to make the shoes wearable after I've painted them so that the paint doesn't come off. Right. Let's get started. Right. So the first thing I need to do is remove these laces, of course. These are new shoes. They've also still got the padding in them. <laughs> so I take the laces out and then I'm going to be acetoning them. Okay, now for the scary bit. Wow, that makes such a difference. I don't know if you can see that. The light is a bit bright. It basically takes off all the factory finish and it leaves it looking very porous, like Three, two, proper, one. like watercolour paper, oh. <laughs> which is so strange. Probably I'm going to paint the tongue, so I'm going to go up here as well. Uh -huh. I do also have... Thank you. 
Now for a very light samdu. When I got this commission first, I was just so excited. I have wanted to paint a pair of shoes for quite some time now, just for the experience, for the having said I've done it. And I think mainly this is because I have watched a lot of YouTube, and I think most YouTubers I have watched have painted a pair of shoes at least once in their channel. It's just such a YouTube thing, and since I'm doing YouTube and now painting shoes, I'm like, have I made it now? Am I a YouTube artist? I don't know. I just thought that was quite a fun little thing and something I've wanted to do and now I can do it. And I really, really hope you like these because I had so much fun doing them. Right, so finally time to start painting. I am going to be doing this kind of um, galaxy colour to start with as like a base. I think I am also going to be doing some of this the lightest light purple here as well on the toes of the shoes and then I am going to have to practice Taylor Swift's signature. <laughs> so I'm starting with this um, it's called raspberry this colour um, but it's actually very purpley pink and then I'm going to go for this darker um, violet um, around the outside and that should make that galaxy effect. I'm going to try and blend these two which should be fun. I'm also using this light purple so that is my colour palette here for putting down the base colours. That's what I'm going to be doing now. quite good actually. Um, I'm surprised how well that turned out. I'm not sure if I want to go right up to the edge here so I'm going to leave some of the stitching white here. Temporarily I might go back over it towards the end. Now I just have to do the other side and of course the other shoe. I'm going to be working on both these shoes at once at the same time so just so it'll be easier. for the light purple on here, possibly fading into the pink up the uh, tongue of the shoe. Three, two, one. I'm possibly realising here that I need a little bit of masking tape. I was kind of not wanting to use it because there's, as you can see, this black piece around here between the shoe and the sole. So I was thinking I could get away with it. However, when it comes to this area, I think I need to tape this off or I'm going to be painting under here and I don't want the paint to get under there. So this lighter purple has not come out much lighter actually on the shoe. It's very comparable to the other purple I was using for some reason. 
um, I think because it was absorbing into the shoe quite a lot. I do also have this lighter purple, um, different brand, I don't know what colour name it is, but I'm not sure if it's too light. I might even put that along here, I think that might look quite nice, or possibly on this back piece here just as like an accent because I think I think that might work right up to this edge here I'm gonna go up to the edges on here as well because I think still a little undecided whether it'll look amazing you can't really see that purple so well so it doesn't look so bad but mm, I think I'm gonna have to <laughs> It's time for some details. I am including this 13 and this butterfly and also the fireworks, um, possibly the speak now and I was enchanted to meet you. So all that and the words Taylor Swift. So um, I'm not 100% sure where to put all these. I'm thinking I might do the 13 on the back there, um, or the butterfly, or do the 13 on one and the butterfly on the other. Butterfly might actually look all right on the side though. I'm just gonna rough these out in my sketchbook first just so I get them right. Right, now it's time for some words and writing. I've got a list of where everything's going. I'm going to write along the bottom on the outside. I was enchanted to meet you. Um, that's where I'm going to start.
and I have finished these. I did one or two little tweaks and changes which needed to be done. For example, the 13 on the toe needed a little bit of an outline and the font on this phrase here needed to be changed. Other than that, that is them all finished now. And the last thing I need to do is put this um, acrylic finisher onto them and it says just use a paintbrush and just paint it on. I am going to leave the um, masking tape around here so that I don't get any on the inside here and that is the last thing I need to do which I'm going to be doing right now. <music> Final thing that needs to be done is, of course, adding the laces back, and then they're all finished, and I will let you see how. <laughs> Stuff like this. Thank you. Bye.